So this is all about protein, which is found in meat and eggs and dairy products and soya beans and lots of other foodstuffs. Um, and first we're going to look at what happens if you don't have enough protein in your diet. And what you get is a, a disease called kwashiorkor. Um, and it's associated with, um, especially you see it in children in developing countries with um, swollen bellies where they haven't had enough protein in their diet. And this is normally due to factors such as poverty or overpopulation um, or not enough money being invested in farming techniques. So, how much protein do you need per day on average? Well, we can calculate that by taking somebody's mass in kilograms and multiplying it by 0.6. So, John has a mass of 50 kilograms. We do 50 times 0.6, and that tells us that John needs 30 grams of protein a day. Now, the amount of protein, of course, may depend on a number of different factors. So, a person's age. Teenagers will need more protein because they're still growing. If you're pregnant, then a pregnant needs extra protein for the fetus or baby growing inside her. And if a mother is lactating, producing milk, then she's going to need extra protein for her baby. So at the higher level, you need to know that proteins are broken down into molecules called amino acids and that of the 20 or so amino acids that exist, there are nine essential amino acids. And an essential amino acid is one that cannot be made by a human and has to be provided in his or her diet. Now, uh, with first-class proteins, they're proteins from fish and from meat, and they contain all the essential amino acids. There are also things called second-class proteins, and they're proteins from plants. And second-class proteins do not contain all those essential amino acids.